didn't go to the show last night. You ain't got to lie, Craig. You ain't got to lie. Ain't nobody lying. Yes, you did. Because my sister-in-law's baby cousin, Tracy, she told me she went to the show last night. She saw you there all hugged up with some giraffe. Now tell me who she was. Yeah, hey, she a, she a lie. She didn't see me at no movies hugged up with nobody. La Faina Baraycha Chad Shakar. Shalom and welcome back. This is the ninth word, Bora 2, aka Exodus chapter 20, verse 16. Seems fairly easy to understand and is on point except for maybe one thing. It's true when it speaks of not giving a false witness. That is to say, don't tell lies about. That can also entail gossip and spreading rumors, which we're great at doing. Mm -mm, it's a trip, but I ain't one to gossip, so if anyone asks you, you ain't heard it from me. No, you haven't. But the word neighbor is not what the word ra is speaking of. It means one who is keeping the same covenant as you. So in the time that it was spoken to our ancestors, this person was a neighbor because they were all set apart and journeyed and lived together. So this word can mean one who was born of the nation or a righteous stranger who lives amongst us. This command being so direct, however, does not imply that it's okay to give false witness against somebody because they are not your right. We're to be a righteous people and those who deal righteously with you, you should in turn deal righteously back. But if they aren't, I'd say all bets are off. And yeah, it's as simple as that. Shalom.